Okay, guys, let's go in. I'll, I'll press pause, right? Forgive me for that. I know it can be annoying, but I kind of want to discuss this with you guys, yeah? The clock is counting down, and the Retros need to make a move to avoid getting knocked down. Indeed, the socialites are defending hard, and has... Uh, are you messing with this group? There seems to be... All right, so for that, all clear. That was just season one recap. I hope we can all agree. Then we got the Cena's bullshit, which I'm not going to stop for. Are you ready for something else? We are Cena's, and we are here to change the game. Okay, let's stop here for a second. Check those freaking skins out, man. <laughs> Loving her. I'm a bit sad not to see new weapons here. I was kind of hoping we'd see something. Fine. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here. Okay. Okay, chat, let's talk about this. Cause, 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 hold up, hold up. This is looking absolutely insane. So just before we get in, like just from my understanding of looking at the trailer a few times, I think the map is kind of like limited, like, so here it's obvious on this side. So we're going to get this huge mansion, which looks just insane. Best map of all time. I couldn't agree more Then, from what I understood, like we can go down that path and here basically. So we got the roof of this building, which means we got this whole entire building, which we're going to get back to it in a minute, but I think it's a museum and that's just freaking insane because I think you can drop a dinosaur on people again. We'll get back to it a bit later. And then my understanding is it's kind of a square type rectangle like neighborhood. So we can go there and over there you got like um, zip lines all over the place. Like you can even see them here. Right. So in any case, that looks just insane. And I'm loving the kind of approach here with like the full window panels so you can see all the way in. So imagine like if this is playable grounds, snipers are going to like just go crazy here, man. Like either this way down there, here, all the way there, here into the house. Like this is going to be crazy. Let's get back into it. OK, hold on. That's the that's the part I was talking about. Sniper is actually useful. Exactly, man. I think. OK, so. I was going to keep that for a bit later, but let, let me just say what I'm thinking. I think, and we're going to see different proofs of what I'm explaining here, but I think Embark, as smart as they are, actually found a way to nerf heavies and buff light builds without necessarily nerfing and buffing them. So through the weapons, which we're going to talk about in a second, and through the map visuals, like this feels like a huge map for Uzis or snipers, like really close quarter or really long distance shots. And that's really cool. I love the, the jump end here, which is probably going to give us access like to the top of the building there, to the top of the mansion there. This is going to be like a really open fire type zone. Love it. And back to the point we were making just a bit earlier. I don't know if this is just for the trailer or if that's the like theme they're going for for season two, like this kind of like pixel art. I don't know. I'm loving it. I, I don't know if the ground is supposed to be like going up like this or if it's just again for the trailer, but I really like the approach. Really cool so far. A gateway. OK, now we need to stop chat. Now we need to stop because now the things are going crazy. So. Let's, we're going to take a minute, not right now, I'm going to move forward on this one, but let's talk about the grenades that they're launching for season two. Okay, I managed to pause it right here on the first time it didn't work so well. And sorry guys if I'm pausing a lot, but like this, there's just so much stuff here. So they don't put a name, which is different to the other grenades, which you'll see they, they put a kind of name on the bottom of the trailer. So I'm quite curious as to why that is. I hope this is not just in the trailer. Like so far, every weapon we've seen in trailers have been put in the game, but they seem to have a teleporter grenade. However, the hell that works. Like you're going to see, they're going to jump in there and teleport somewhere else, right? It's in line with the hacker's theme. I wonder if all season two will be hacker themed. Yeah, that's exactly it, man. I think you got a really good point here. I think that's what they're going for. Like this kind of like disrupting the game flow. And Bart gave us more than we deserved on this season. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, you see that? Like what the fuck was that? Did they just teleport or just go through? Like it can't be a just portal to go through, right? It has to be some, some kind of effect, right? Oh, actually, look at that. I was wrong. They do put the... So it is a teleporter gateway. So I'm guessing it's like you throw one at one spot and the other on another spot and you kind of teleport like in Apex, I guess. Check the new weapons. OK, OK, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So much is happening. Like, guys, did you see that? 
Look at this thing. <laughs> you can reshape things now. What the, do you imagine what we're going to be able to do with that? Like you're lost. You need a goo something. You need a canister for a nuke. You need whatever the hell you want. You're bothered by your turret. Instead of spending a whole entire clip shooting and focusing on that crap, just come in, switch it over, get a canister in exchange. Like, what the fuck? So data reshaper. I don't know if that's limited to light builds. I honestly, for you guys playing light builds, I pray it is. I really hope it is because if it is... If those grenades are light builds only, bro, you guys are going to have a party, man. Like, this is going to be insane. And it actually gives, like, full benefit of using the, the light build. Did you see how he deleted the defenses here? Like, the entire point is just deleted in one second. Just turret here, whatever was there, gone. All of it gone at once. Okay, new one. And sorry again for, for posing, right? Dematerializer. Quite a handful to say. So now, okay, again, back to what I was saying earlier, right? It feels like the devs from Embark have finally found a way to nerf heavies without nerfing heavies, which let's give them credit because we all play games for however long it's been, right? We've all seen ups and downs in game, patch notes, like updates, changing, reworks, whatever it is. And it's always the same thing. It's like someone goes way above the power level, you're going to have to cut him down. And it seems, and again, what I said at the start of the stream, like, we'll see if that's true. We'll see if, if I'm not just talking for nothing. But what it feels like is that they found a way to take the power level of the heavy kind of off through things that are going to break the build they're playing. So like before, the only way to break walls, what did you need? A heavy build, right? Now you've got a counter to that. You've got a silence dematerializer. So you don't know you no longer need to have a heavy to actually be able to go through something. Imagine the consequences that's going to bring. Imagine if that's limited to light build. That's a huge game changer. And I'm, I think I'm going to have to pause just a second after this because they do something else, which is going to again prove my point. Here. Look at that. Okay. Look what they just did. This is insane, bro. This is absolutely insane. So they, they were very clever as per usual. This is a barricade, right? So again, heavy build only. What's happening here? The guy was probably protecting himself over here. What was our usual approach here? The same crap. Oh, dematerializers for mediums. Bro, you just gave me an orgasm, not gonna lie. Like if that's my class, I'm gonna go crazy. Anyway, what I was saying. So what would we have done in, in this case, right? In this case, you go either with the heavy build, with some explosive from the front, RPG, whatever it is, or you just have to face the fact that those this team or this heavy is protected and you're just going to have to accept it. Like either leave him be, find another angle, like take some risk, right? Now look what they've done. The light build probably, again, hoping it's light build, because if that's heavy build, I'm going to shoot myself. But if this is light build, now you just got a way around and like you absolutely counter the heavy with a light build. And I think like that's what I'm to my point. You've buffed the heavy, the light build and nerfed the heavies without actually touching them, which I think is crazy smart. Like no more campers. Also, gravity grenade plays a huge part for last minute steals or etc. I'm medium bit too so excited for this ability. Yeah, guys, like I couldn't agree more. And we're going to be talking about the gravity in just a second because we're going to be getting there. But yeah, I, you, you got a good point there. Just one thing before we move on from the dematerializer, I'm hoping that it's temporary, not something as in like breaking the wall. I hope it kind of like hacks the wall. You can go through, do your action and like either deactivate it or like any grenade kind of like the effect is gone, like smoke grenades and then it's gone, right? That would be insane, man. That just like, imagine you steal a cash out or even better, you steal the, the loot, the loot box through a dematerialized wall run for the hell where, while everyone's fighting, while there's chaos everywhere. And just as you leave, the wall shuts off and the teams are screwed, bro. If they don't have a heavy, they have to go all the way around and you just want like 10 seconds, man. Okay, here, because that's important too. Anti-gravity cube. Like you guys said, imagine for last second cash out. Imagine what we're doing now with this. Imagine the extent of it. So before we even talk about cash out, just let's consider something. You know how at the end of the game, there's a game mode, right? Anti-gravity or whatever it's called. Imagine if this counters it. 
or makes it stronger or something like imagine if you can like jump out even further like i don't know if this applies to it if will if it will have any effect if it's the same type of effect or if they build onto each other like i don't know how it works but this can absolutely change the game plus you can pull the cash out obviously in the direction that you choose right so like it's no longer a fixed point on the map that you can kind of like explode kind of now it's you can move it around imagine if you got a few of those like that's crazy and that's completely disrupting defenses which again nerfs the heavy build and I'm, i don't know I'm, I'm so excited about this i wonder what the counter to it is uh not sure what which counter you mean Apologies, we seem to be having some technical death, but one thing for certain it will be fun okay okay I had to pause it there right before it switches because this is the hype, the ultimate hype, guys. What happens on the next image? I hope you're all fucking hyped for it because that's just like mind blowing. And if they make it a rank mode one day, we're gonna go crazy. Bro, 5v5. Look at them all lined up, ready to go for war. Okay, not only is that insane, not only is that like magical, like it changes the whole game, right? Like, we, we're no longer playing three teams. Now there's going to be one versus one team, right? And look at that. Look at that thing. So what I'm guessing is happening here. Let's let's talk about that. Look at that thing. What I'm thinking is happening here is some kind of a, like, tug of war type game. So since it's 5v5, it's not going to be 5v5v5, right? We're clear on that because they can't extend the servers. That would be too complicated, I think. So what I think is happening here is, like, you got a team. If one of your guys, at least, maybe two, I'm guessing one, yeah, maybe based off weight, that's a very good idea, Jordan. What I'm thinking is happening here is like the team in control kind of pushes this one way or the other. And you probably got, got a delimitation zone. Maybe that's it. Like I see two fire that looks like a goal here. I'm not sure, cannot say. But imagine if that's the case. So we're going to be going crazy on a single path. Like all of this doesn't matter anymore, right? Like let's imagine the path is here. All of this crap is no longer in our interest, right? All we care about is the path that's on here and how to attack the point. So we're now gonna have a mode which is absolutely fully dedicated to chaos. Yes, Austin, you are correct. This is genius. This is magical. I think we're gonna go crazy on this one. I think that we're gonna break the servers with how much we're gonna be grinding that in that mode. And Embar Gods, please hear me. We need this to become a rank mode. Just imagine, guys, imagine if this becomes rank. Imagine if this is an actual game mode that we can have a ladder on. All right, let's enjoy the images. Whoops. Sorry, I have to break it, but look, it's, it just breaks through the map without any fucks given. my god can we just take a second to realize what's about to happen for us like like all of those who left our game guys all of those who are like yeah the finals is dead blah 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 blah. look what they're missing man <laughs> look what we're in for first line that's crazy guys